In this tutorial, we'll dive into our social media pack. I will show you how to use some of our items and what you can create with them. Let's start with something simple, icons. There are two versions, each differing in animation complexity. Let's go with this one. Click and add. A lovely thumbs up animation. You can customize it however you like. Let's start with changing the color to green. And we might want to make the lines a bit wider, like this. And let's turn off the activation animation so that our icon remains unfilled. Here you go. Let's jump into Premiere Pro for this one. We will take a look at Lower Thirds, a classic weapon of every social media manager. You can use the one with the logo, or we can get more personal and use this one with a profile picture. Click the Add button, and here we go. A classic call to action pop-up. Now let me show you how to easily add your profile picture. First, make sure you have selected the item on your timeline. Then, go into the Window tab and click on Properties. And simply drag your image into the selection. You can also adjust the scale or position if needed. And that's it! A lovely call to action with your profile picture in just a few clicks. Now if you want to, you can change some design properties. Just go back to the Edit tab. And let's take a look at the button and container options. Let's make it more round and maybe a little wider. The button as well. And there it is. You can also experiment with colors, font, or cursor options if you'd like. Let's get back to After Effects. Go into Elements, pick the Chat Messages item, and add it to your timeline. Now we've got a fully animated and editable chat conversation. So let's make some changes, starting with the text, of course. After changing the text of the second bubble, I'll switch it from the receiver side to the sender side. The third one, on the other hand, will go back to the receiver side. But the conversation isn't quite over yet. Let's activate the fourth message and switch it back to the sender's side so we can respond. Our chat bubbles can easily handle even long essays, so make your conversation juicy. Now the only thing left to do is change the names of our chatters. An epic conversation between Mr. Horse and Awesome Person. Now let's take a look at our design options. I'm going to adjust the roundness a little and turn off the gradient color. Now, let's change the color of the sender's messages to blue and the receiver's messages to white. Also, don't forget to change the text color to black so it will be visible. To make it even more cool, we can add some more elements from our library. Like this reaction button. Let me adjust the timing a little, and we'll need to rescale and reposition the item so that it fits the message bubble. And just like that, messenger chat conversation. And don't hesitate to put it on some footage of your choice, just like this one. And that's it. Level up your social game at MrHorse.com.